Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman, president and founder of ConsumerLab.com, and I'm here to talk today about cinnamon, both cinnamon spices, sorry, here, and cinnamon supplements. Um, and what we found in testing these products was pretty shocking. In fact, one of these products is probably not even what it claims to be. Um, and what we also found is that there were major variations in terms of the amounts of key chemical compounds that are in uh, cinnamon, which are known as proanthocyanidins or PACs, uh, and also in terms of a toxin known as coumarin. So basically there are two types of cinnamon, as I mentioned. There is Ceylon cinnamon or true cinnamon or sir, uh, cinnamon verum, uh, and there is uh, cassia cinnamon. Basically if you just see the word cinnamon, it's probably cassia cinnamon. They taste very similar, but the difference is that the Ceylon cinnamon has very little coumarin, which is a toxin. It's a liver toxin. It's a potential carcinogen. So Ceylon is very low in, in uh, coumarin. Uh, cassia can have uh, coumarin at varying levels. Um, some of the extracts, some over here may have lower levels. Some of even the bark powders may have lower levels than others. Um, the uh, cinnamon spice is shown here and over here as well. These are basically bark powders as well, and, and there are different levels of, of coumarin there. In fact, the amounts of coumarin that we found uh, ranged significantly and really up to, from virtually none to amounts that are even higher than what a child um, can safely take on a daily basis, and a little over half of what an adult should be getting on a daily basis. Um, we also looked for lead in these products, and we did find um, uh, some, some lead, actually one, one of these spices actually was right around the uh, limit for lead, uh, so we recommend other uh, spices. All of this information is in our report on ConsumerLab.com, it's available to our members. Um, so I'm not naming names here, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what you need to be looking out for with cinnamon. Why even use cinnamon uh, as a supplement? because it actually can uh, modestly lower blood sugar levels. And that's why people use cinnamon as a supplement. Typically at a dose of about one half teaspoon or one gram per day, uh, which is, uh, this is actually just a quarter of a teaspoon. So a bit, about twice as much as what you see here. Some of the extracts uh, you can get by with less. We also found that one of the most expensive, actually the most expensive supplement that we tested had the lowest amount of PACs. And PACs range from about five uh, milligrams to 40 milligrams across these products. Again, all that is shown in our report. If you'd like to see our top picks among these products, in fact, we found one supplement that we, we particularly liked. It was relatively high in PACs, uh, low in coumarin, uh, and a relatively uh, inexpensive price. Um, that's in our report, as well as our top picks among the spices so that you can avoid uh, lead exposure, coumarin exposure as much as possible. Um, so again, this is Dr. Todd Cooperman with ConsumerLab.com and thanks for your time.